Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this wallet. Um, it's made out of this plastic canvas stuff and I crocheted some pockets in it and I put a little quick liner. Um, this liner is actually glued in here. It's not sewed, but you can sew it if you want. But a couple pockets and this goes around like this. Now as you know, I make these tutorials up as I film, and I don't have patterns for them. And sometimes I, when I get done with the tutorial, I realize that the way I did things would have been easier another way. So I'm going to tell you up front, at the, I waited to the end to sew this button on, but I got it on. It was just a little bit difficult because I had to go through the lining. I would recommend when you get this all made and put together, before you put the lining on, sew your button in spot, and then sew or glue your lining on. Just to... A heads up to let you know so but otherwise I think it's pretty cute and it, it did take it is a little bit time consuming it did take me a little bit longer than what like a regular crochet wallet would have took me but it's just something different and I thought maybe you guys like to learn it so let's go ahead and get started on it okay for this project you're gonna need some plastic canvas and then you're gonna need to cut two pieces that are 49 of these little squares across and then 25 this way so 49 and 25 and we're going to make a pattern kind of like this on it and I'll show you how and get what colors that you want to use and cut you a long string. It's three feet long or so. And for this plastic canvas we're going to be using our yarn needle. And we'll just load it up like normal. Okay. Um, I made these little squares and you can see that the yellow ones are going this way and the white ones, I made them go the opposite way. But you can make them all go the same way if you want, or you can do it like me. But Okay, this is what we'll do. We're going to start up here in the corner. I'm going to work, go over to the second square, and pull your yarn through. Leave a tail and I always just hold it right here. And as I'm making a square, it'll sew under. We're going to make a little angle stitch in the second square down here. Just like that. Now we're going to come directly to the next square right here. Go in. And then we're going to go over to the next square next to this one right here okay back up again here to the next square and then down here to the next square right here and then to the next square And to the next square here. And that's as big as it's going to be. It's going to be five squares crossed. Even though we didn't put a stitch in this one, we still count it. And five down. So now what we need to do is work this down part right here. We got this big part. So once we get the five stitches across, well, five squares, four, five, I guess it's really four stitches, but now we're going to go down to this one, and then bring it over to the next one here, next to this one. Okay. 
and then down again from the next one and then over again right here and then the next one and then the next one over here and that will complete that one first square and we can cut our tail off because we I sewed it in there as I went now you can it's easier to do all the yellow across and then work the white in so I'll show you how we do that I don't clip my yarn or anything now I'm just gonna skip a square and move straight over to the next so we're gonna count over here one two one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We know we need to start in the tenth square over. Go in it and just drag your yarn across because the stuff will be hidden. And plus, I'll I'm going to put a small liner in it too. And I do my start my small square again. By going right here. Come back up to the next one over. And then the next one down right here. This one. Oh, let's turn my light off. Sorry about that. Once you get this, the hang of this, it's really easy. And then one more. And you can tell I'm in the last spot because it's even with this one. See? So now I got to start going down and finishing out my square. And then over here. And then that square is finished. And see they're on the same line. And they're the same size. And we left enough in between to do the white square. So now we need to count over again. Counting this very first one. Right here. Even though we didn't go in it, it's still part of the square line. See? Count over ten. One. Go in it. right down one and then we'll do our square again and then do this one back up here Okay, I'm even now with the other one, see? So now I know I need to start working downward like this on this side. Now we need to count over. Even though this one doesn't have a stitch in it, we still count because it's part of this line. Ten. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's the one we have to start in. 
and Well, just like that. Then you want to start here again. Count over 10 and do your next one. And do that all the way until the end. And then I'll show you how we're going to put the white in. Finish with the yellow. And I just weaved it in the back. And I hid my tail. Just like you would do crochet. I just weaved it in here. And then clipped it off. Now I'm starting with the white. And like I said, I got my white running in a different direction. See the yellow went this way. I'll make the white go this way. So let me finish up the square. Show you how we start the white. Just get a piece of white about three four three feet long or so, just like you did the yellow. Okay. So since we're running the opposite direction like this one, we want to start right down here. And our white is going to be attached to the same square, see like I did here? that the yellow is attached to. So I'm going to start right here. And go right up to the spot. And then over one. And then Here's where we went in last time. Go to the one up next from it. And up here to the top corner, the yellow's in it. Put the white in it too. Now we're going up this side. So it's the same way as we just did the yellow, except for we're just running the stitches in the opposite direction. Just like that. Now we just swing over here, and we need to start, not here, right here. We're starting on the same line as all these other ones.
just like that. And then we just come over here and start again, right here. And over here again. Just like that. Did my last white square. And I'm just going to weave it in. Now I'm going to start again. You can start again with the yellow or the white on the next row. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm going to start with the white and I'm going to keep running the white the same way. So I'm just going to start right here. And it's going to go in the same space that these yellow ones are going in. Oops. And then right here. Just going to make sure they all line up. And they're all the same size. It's really not hard once you get the hang of it. the last stitch up here. So now I know I need to start going back down and making it the side smaller. Right here. And there's that one. Now I'm going to move over here to underneath this yellow one and start. Right here's the line where they're all going down. And you start one below it. And right there. And this is pretty much all there is to this pattern. Like I said, it's easy when you get the hang of it. So I'm just going to keep doing this all the white and then I'm going to fill in with my yellow and then I'm going to go to the next row. Now that's as big as it's going to get because it's in the same stitch as these to make it line up. So I'm going to start going down now. like that. 
So I'm going to continue with mine until I get both of my pieces done. I'm going to make the yellows go this way and the whites run this way. But you can do it any way you want. And just make sure you always keep them in line. Just follow the lines and it's really easy. And then I'm going to make a pocket like this. I'll show you how to do that. And just put a little piece of white fabric for our lining. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and I'll meet back up with you. I got both of my pieces done. And now I'm just putting a quick um, lining on it. I just cut a piece of fabric the same size as my square. And I didn't um, sew it. I just used a low heat hot glue gun and hot glued it around the edges. And you can use a sewing machine if you want. And if you want to choose a fabric that's not quite so transparent as mine, I just used a piece of lace. But And then I just um, took a piece of ribbon and I hot glue it around the edges to clean them up like that a little bit. And then I'll trim it off real nice here at the end. But, um, like you said, if you want to use a sewing machine, if it's easier, you can. I don't have a sewing machine. And you can do it by hand. You can sew this by hand, too, if you want. But, um, this is just a way you can do it without having to sew anything. As long as you use a low heat hot glue gun, it's fine. If you use a high heat, it'll kind of melt your yarn a little bit. Just put a few drops of hot glue there, and then I put this around the edges. Like that. And then I'll do my long pieces up here. I just made them out. Here's your mount and cut them. I'll put a small dribble of hot glue down the edge here. And I will, like I said, I'll go around the scissors and cut, clean them up for really nice the edges. And this is the easy way to line something real simple. And just go around all the edges with it. And if you want to use a sewing machine, like I said, you can to make it even cleaner. But most of this is going to be covered up anyway because I'm going to make a pocket. So. Okay, I want you to get them, your liner put on how you want it. I'll do my bottom piece in a minute. And like I said, I just used a piece of lace. You can kind of see through it, but once you get this, I get this pocket sewed on, you're not going to be able to see much of it, the lining anyway, so. Um, I'll show you how to make that pocket, this pocket real quick. Right here. I don't have it all the way sewed on yet, but to put some stuff in. Um, I'm using a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And you want to start with the slip knot. And do a chain of 25. single crochet in the second chain from the hook. We don't count the one that's on our hook, so right here. Single crochet. And then just single crochet 
and every stitch across for the length of the chain. And all it is is we're doing rows of single crochet. And then when you get to the end, you want to chain one, turn your work, and then start again, having this first stitch, doing single crochet again, all the way across. And then when you get to the end, it's chain one and turn, and then single crochet. And I did that for twelve rows. I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish mine and finish putting on this liner and get it down really tight how I want it. And then I'll show you how we're gonna sew this uh, pocket on. With these pockets, I just used a regular needle, sewing needle, little bitty one, and regular thread. Just, and I just sewed it this way and back through, this way and back through. And I just hid my stitches underneath these. It was really easy. And if you even want to do, I'm, um, I'm sure you could probably even use hot glue to glue it on. Because hot glue works really well with yarn, as long as, like, like I said, it's a low heat hot glue gun. It's one of the best things to keep yarn on, besides thread and needle. Okay, now you want to put your, I uh, put pockets on both sides. So you want to make sure they're up, right? Put them together. We're going to start down here at the bottom. And I'm going to start, I got my yarn needle this time. And just a piece of string about three foot long again. I'm going to go in this corner and this corner and I'm going to sew the bottom pieces together. I'm going to put a tight knot in it down here. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through the stitches. I'm going to go into the next stitch here. And then the next one on the other side, the back side like that. And oh, pull through. And then I'm going to go into the next one. And the next one. If you want, you can do both stitches twice. I might just do that to give it some extra hold. I'm going to go in that same stitch I just went into. And the same stitch over here again. That. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch right here, and the next one over here. Pull it through. Really tight. And I'm going to go through that same stitch again, and the same one over here. I'm going to pull it tight. Okay, and then I'm going to move right here to the next stitch. The next hole, or whatever you want to call it, a little square. So I'm going through the squares. And the same one over here. And I'm going to do that one again just to make sure it holds nice and tight. And then move on to the next one. And then the next one on the other side. And go through it twice. Okay. And I want to do this, sewing this together, until I get to the end of the other side, because we're only going to sew 
this side together. We're going to go around these edges to clean them up, but separate. We're not going to sew them together. So I would just keep doing this, just stitching together, two stitches in each one. Just like this, all the way down to here. And then you want to hide this tail and just stop here and we'll continue to go up the other side, but not together, separate. So I'll just meet you up down here. Okay, here's my theme back here that I made. And I'm at the end. So now I'm just going to go up this the same way. But I'm not, I'm not going to attach this side. So I'm just going to open up my bag. And then... I'm just going to go through the stitches twice. Just this, the individual, individual stitch. Just to, it'll just clean up that plastic edge a little bit. Like this. Well, and then I just go through it. Two times. But I'm not hooking it to anything. See, I'm just going through this along the edge. Just like that. So I'm going to do that all the way up here, in the front, down this. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to do it all the way around both sides. Up here at the corners, you might have to go through it maybe three times to make it not sharp. Just, yeah, I had to do it three times to make it not sharp. But you can do it as much as you want to make it look right for you. Around all the edges of mine now I'm going to put a button on and make a little loop thing to hook it on, hook it to. So I'm going to start with a slip knot and then a chain. Make sure you leave a long enough tail to sew it on. But I'm probably going to sew my button right about there. So. Let me look here. I'll tell you how many chains I'm going to do. And I'm just making a loop is what I'm doing. Sewing it up here and then... Uh, I'm going to make a chain of 12. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to tie it here and leave it long. So, just a chain of 12 like that. Leave a couple long tails. Okay. So I'm going to sew it to this side and then sew my button to the other side. So I'm going to find the middle. Right here is my middle. So I'm just going to use my yarn needle. Put 
So we'll pull, draw one through. Oh, one in through. And I'm going to do the other end and draw it through the same hole. So I got that little loop there. And then I'm just going to put a tiny knot in it back here. And then like that. And then I'm going to run my tail right through here. Just to kind of hide it real lightly. Like that. Run both tails through. And then I'm going to run the other side through here. Real quick. Just to hide it a little bit so it don't come loose. Okay. And what I got is a little loop like that. And then I want to sew a button on. I'm going to sew it on right here. So two rows down, right in the center. And I'm just going to use, let's see, how am I going to do that? I'm probably going to use a regular needle and thread and just poke it through my liner lightly. Um, let me find some thread here. I went ahead and sewed my button on with a regular needle and thread. And I just sewed it through the liner. And then this is how it's going to hook. But I'm going to recommend at the beginning of the video to sew your button on first because it was a little hard. I mean, you can do it because I did it, but be easier probably to do it at the beginning right before you put the liner in. But to sew where you're going to put it. But that's it. That's all there is to this little wallet. I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And check out my Facebook page too. And until next time, have a good day.